Governor Ron DeSantis apparently has blocked money for the Tampa Bay Rays training facility in part because the team spoke out against gun violence. What's your reaction to that, Fred? Ron DeSantis came to office on the backs of the 17 who died in Parkland. It was his connection to the Parkland families that helped elevate him to a status that helped get him elected. So what do I think about him now? I think he is a petty, whiny, small person who has developed some kind of a Napoleon complex to be quite candid, that he would punish the Tampa Bay baseball team for actually just highlighting the issue of gun violence it is, is beyond thinkable, but he is, because but, it's who he is. And we need and, to punish him for it by not reelecting him. And, and Jim, Fred's right, but next to Donald Trump, there's no more popular Republican than DeSantis, because they Amazing. want an authoritarian to do this kind of crap. So there's Fred Gutenberg that was talking the most that he lost his daughter in the Parkland school shooting there from several years ago. But again, we're talking about the Tampa Rays and what they did to get Ron DeSantis to then block funding for their training facility because he doesn't use those taxpayer money. We're gonna get details, but first let's see what it is this horrible thing that the Rays did post that got them in this battle. So. Really quick, we all deserve to be safe in schools, grocery stores, places of worship, our neighborhoods, houses, and America. The most recent mass shootings in Buffalo and Uvalde have shaken us to the core. The Rays are mourning these heartbreaking tragedies that took the lives of innocent children and adults. This cannot become normal. We cannot become numb. We cannot look the other way. We all know if nothing changes, nothing changes. The Rays organization, maybe this is the horrible part here. The Rays organization stands committed to actionable change and has made a $50,000 commitment to every town for gun safety support fund. Every town is the largest gun violence prevention organization in America. Rather than our usual game coverage on social media tonight, we've partnered with every town to amplify facts about gun violence in America. We understand that no single organization can solve this crisis alone, but working together, we can make an impact. We invite you to join us and do what you can, when you can, where you can, because our lives depend on it. Before we get to Ron DeSantis is playing dumb here. First of all, I'm still looking for the negative part about this. Did you find it, Jessica? No, uh, seems fine to me. And it's not even like it's the head of the corporation that's sending this message. They're saying we came together as an organization and this is what we have to say about it. This is what we stand for as an organization of people, which sounds fine to me. And if you're upset about funding for us using taxpayer dollars, on a, an organization in your city, bring that up. But it's weird that it comes up right now, because really fast, he played dumb. Graphic number five, you guys. Uh, this is what Santos had to say. I don't support giving taxpayer dollars to professional sports stadiums, is what he said on Friday, when asked about this veto of the sports complex funding. Companies are free to engage or not engage with whatever discourse they want, but clearly it's inappropriate to be using tax dollars for professional sports stadiums. It's also inappropriate to subsidize political activism of a private or corporation, and that's the problem. That's actually the problem that he has with this, and he thinks this is gonna help his political chances and also his run for president. We know that's what he's looking for, that's where he's going with this. Last few thoughts for the last few seconds we have here, Jessica. Yeah, man, the same Republicans that will say big government is bad love DeSantis, who right now is using his power as an elected official, as a governor to regulate what corporations can and cannot say effectively. That's what he's doing there. And Republicans are terribly confused right now about when big government is bad. Big government is bad when democratic control is lost and when our basic rights are taken away. That includes the freedom of speech, which is the right of these individuals as a group to express their opinion on a matter. Big government is not bad when people are making laws to prevent corporations from exploiting the people who work for them. It's very <laughs> simple and they're horribly confused. Insane how that works, but they've gotten to that point. 